Hello, another video from Angry Photographer. I have mentioned this lens in the past, but I haven't put it in its proper respective place because everybody asks about, uh, well, where can I find a cheap mid-range zoom that's really fast? And uh, generally speaking, that's a contradiction, but there does exist one exception, and I've got a few of these, and uh, she's a sexy little girl. And this is perfect for uh, FX or DX use, and that is tra tra the 35-70 to 2.8 D lens. Now, this will not autofocus on D3000 series or D5000 series, but will work perfectly fine on any D7000, 7100, 7200, and also the D90 and a few others. Now, something that takes a few people to get used to, it is a push-pull lens. There you go, Man manually focus. The lens, obviously, it is a screw drive. It's a D series. Work perfectly fine in your D750, D600 series, D7000, uh, 7100, 7200, DX, uh, DSLR, and uh, of course on any uh, D800, D810, yada yada yada. Um, so typically, I've found more than a ton of these at 170, 180 bucks. The average is about two, two and a quarter. Typically, right now, they seem to be going minty shape. A lot of these, the really good ones, come out of Japan. Uh, it'll take you a very short period of time to get used to it. So your options as far as fast glass and a mid-range zoom are extremely limited as far as of being on a budget. It's like, well, okay, you want a mid-range zoom at aperture f2.8, but you don't want to spend much money? Yeah. It's like, well, your options are this lens and your options are this lens. <laughs> the same lens. So, um, like I said, if you hunt and peck really hard, sometimes you can find pawn shops, uh, eBay. You know, there's a lot of places to hunt and peck. Craigslist. Uh, awesome lens made in Japan. It's built like a friggin' tank. She's one sexy beast. Some people don't like the push-pull action of the lens. The fact that it actually breathes from the uh, rear element and sucks on a little bit more dust than uh, other lenses. No big deal, but you're talking 200 bucks. And uh, here we're talking the 2470, uh, 2.8 uh, ED uh, Nikkor. Also great for uh, D. It's major overkill for DX, by the way. I mean, you want to spend this lens is $1,900. It's sitting currently on uh, one of my D810s, which is my favorite camera in the whole world. Even though I've got three D7100s, uh, I use my D7100 most of the time. But my favorite camera in the whole world is a D810. But that's no big deal. I'm a hardcore preacher of the D7100 and all its infamous attributes. Of course, Nikon is crazy to call the D7100 an advanced amateur camera. It doesn't do 4% uh, less than the D810 here does, other than being a crop sensor camera. But I digress. Point being, 3570D, 2.8 lens. Um, I've snagged more than a few for 200 bucks. Like I said, if you want to grab a minty perfect copy out of Japan for like 280 bucks, 250. Um, you can perfectly uh, do so uh, easy greasy go on eBay um, like I said your other alternative is this two thousand dollar puppy well 19 basically two thousand dollars with tax and uh, you know that's that's a lot of overkill it's serious overkill for any DX camera it's just going too far but this isn't and uh, so this gets my top recommendation this video this lens finally gets its own little video and it well deserves it even though I mentioned it more than a few times months ago uh, this specific video basically uh, had to be made. By the way, uh, some of the negative attributes of this extremely expensive 2470, while I love it, ought to be called the wedding lens. This is basically what it is, although it's got far broader use than that. Uh, she is fragile, it is infamously a delicate lens. And uh, secondly, so she's not insanely sharp. I mean, she's more than sharp enough, but uh, not incredibly sharp. Um, now, noticeably so, I have to know, uh, mention this if you're not very familiar with D-series lenses on uh, current DX or FX cameras. Uh, the autofocus is not going to be insanely fast on the 35-70. to 70. Um, So you have to deal with that. And uh, it is a sharp lens and it's built like a tank and she's a real critter. And she's always got great resale value so you can't go wrong. If you find one in grape shape, I uh, suggest you snag it. It's an awesome lens and we're talking $1,900 here versus uh, 200, 250, 300 bucks right here. Um, this will work perfectly fine on any FX camera and uh, you get full frame coverage on any FX frame camera, DSLR, Nikon. 
So go ahead and snag yourself a 35.72.8. <laughs> Catch you later. Another video from the crazy, angry, tattooed, uh, weirdo photographer. Um, if you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Or tell me what cliff to go jump off of, and I will catch you later. Manya.